Loses close to 800 billion shillings to illicit trade, including sale of substandard goods, illegal trafficking, and counterfeits. In a move aimed at strengthening existing collaboration in the war against counterfeit trade, the Anti Counterfeit Authority has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Pharmacy and Poisons Board in a bid to end the vice. The partnership between the two agencies is expected to tackle the heavy losses, as Esther Diana reports. Porous borders between countries have been cited as one of the major facilitators of illicit trade and cannot be ignored in the fight against the trade. Speaking during the signing of a memorandum of understanding between Anti-Counterfeit Authority and Pharmacy and Poisons Board, it was noted that 2% of counterfeits nabbed since 2010 comprised of counterfeit medicine. The Kenya has got a porous border, which is quite long between our neighboring countries and that's why it's also facilitating illicit trade in the north the border is open so you may get people fearing medicines whether they are genuine or not in in across the border through points that are not authorized the mou seeks to foster a comprehensive approach to tackling the trade in counterfeit and illicit medicines through sharing of information, training, and carrying out outreach activities. For you to uh, bring a product in the market, there are some investment that you have to undertake. There are some money that you have to take for marketing, for product development. Other people don't want to do that. The human resource definitely resources we don't have enough. We try to do our best with the limited resources we have. A 2017 study by the United Nations ranked Kenya position three when it comes to trafficking counterfeit pharmaceuticals and veterinary drugs. Further, it revealed that 20% of counterfeit goods in Kenya are locally manufactured. The authority in 2021 started what we are calling the recordation program of the intellectual property rights. The purpose of this is to ensure that the owners of uh, trademarks record with us and we have got a database that is currently being used by officers at border points. In the past, the authority sees products such as emergency pills, which accounts for about shilling 7 million Colgate antibiotics, malaria medicine and other beauty products. A 2020 national baseline report on illicit trade showed there was a sharp increase in the value of seized goods between 2017 and 2019. The increase was attributed to acquisition of more inspectors for enforcement purposes and multi-agency anti-illicit enforcement operations. For KTN